Can jumping up one second before the elevator hits the ground save your life? The probability of an elevator falling from a high rise is particularly small, because in addition to 4 to 8 steel wire ropes, the elevator also has multiple protection systems in place, such as a speed limiter, safety gear and a buffer at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Unless the elevator never has an annual inspection, and all the wire ropes are broken, and all the devices have failed, there is a very small chance a major accident occurs. If you are in an elevator, and it suddenly stalls and falls, if you would then jump up a second before it is about to hit the ground, and then you can land like a normal jump to avoid the impact to protect you. Is that even possible? Just think about it. First of all, you are in the elevator, you can't predict when it will hit the ground. When it is the right time to start jumping is a big question mark. Even if you fall from a height of 150 meters, you only have 6 seconds to react, while falling the elevator and you are both descending at high speed. Even if you magically seize the moment before and successfully jump up with your amazing bouncing power, the speed can only be reduced by a little bit. For example, the descending speed of you and the elevator is 41.3 meters per second. Assuming that you have the physique of a strong athlete, you can only jump up to 1.3 meters per second during the falling process, then you will still fall at a speed of 40 meters per second. And the fact that you are in free fall during the fall is a state of weightlessness. There is no way to prepare yourself for a jumping position in weightlessness, and it is useless to jump up unless you generally squat to take the elevator and have the skills to jump 30 meters high and land safely. It's just physically impossible. 